CME Info's continuing education and board certification programs bring the conference to you. The following is a video sample from the Oakstone Institute's Pathology Board Review course. This excerpt is from course director Dr. Ivan Damanov's lecture titled Histopathology Slide Review. Now, if you have a slide, and I have here a slide that is a composite slide so that I, I can have several cases in one slide. We here have the epithelium. You see that the epithelium is not quite normal. You try to see what kind of epithelium it is. It is extending on the, from the surface, making some type of handler structures. Here it is more solid and it is squamous. So you, in your head, try immediately to decide, is this malignant or is it benign? It's obviously malignant. So there are not too many places where you could have a tumor that has features of a adenocarcinoma like this and with squamous features on the other like this. So you jump and say, oh, these glands remind me of some type of endometrium, and this is an endometrioid adenocarcinoma. So adenocarcinoma of the endometrium has frequently squamous metaplasia. Previously, we would call them adenosquamous. Now, we just put them together. It's one of the features of that tumor. Uh, so the other organ that you could have taken into consideration is the bronchial epithelium, because bronchial epithelium is a ductal epithelium or respiratory complex epithelium that can undergo squamous metaplasia. So the tumors, even if they become squamous cell carcinoma, somehow remember that they were glandular before. So, you know, we all like to come to the place where we first time fell in love or the first crime that we committed by lying to our parents. So this is what the tumors do, right? They kind of have a long memory. If you were told that this is a endometrium, then it's even better because in that case, they might have secondary questions. Is this a tumor that is related to hyperesthenism or it is a tumor that has nothing to do with hyperesthenism. If it is an endometrioid carcinoma, as you have seen, you can even guess the age of the woman. It's not a very old woman and so on. Uh, they could have a tricky question and say, this woman had a primary tumor of the endometrium, but she had also an ovarian tumor and that ovarian tumor was hormonally active and they asked you what could that tumor be top quality board certification reviews and continuing education programs, guaranteed. For more information about this self-study activity, go to www.cmeinfo.com slash 777B or call us at 1-800-284-8433.